the, I was going to say the quantum soup train, but that just didn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> well, it and might it, make sense later. It, it might. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, welcome everybody. Good morning. Uh, it's Tuesday in December. Were you going with a quantum soul train? Sure. Well, because I say that? quantum that soup. Be, yeah. And yeah, then I I, so and, and, and train hungry? came out and I was like, yeah, that doesn't go, but I'm going to roll with it anyways, because I'm a dork that way. And it's so okay. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Sioux train. How about that? Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> oh, we've got a great show. Hey guys, we're taking calls today. We've got the wonderful Nadine joining us. And she and I, are going to, yay, we're going to tag team the calls and the intuitive readings, evidential mediumship, see what pops up. And, you know, quite honestly, take what resonates and leave the rest. There's going to be a squeaky wheel. There's going to be something going on that resonates with you, or maybe it irritates you or it kind of chaps your hide a little bit. I would say lean into that. Check it out. If you want more information about the radio show and myself or Nadine, please sign up for the newsletter. And that's uh, simply www.suelunquist.com forward slash newsletter. And it comes out about once a month or once a week. It talks about the radio show. You get copy of the radio show. You get all the links to the goodies, the good stuff. We are coming upon the holiday schedule or the holiday scheduling. Hello to the Pacific Northwest. Hello internationally to my YouTubers. And of course, to the podcast world after this goes live. It's so wonderful to be here with you. Remind you guys, it's a call-in show, so get your dialing fingers going, 1-888-298-5569. Again, 1-888-298-5569. Locally, 425-373-5527. Good morning! <laughs> it's always so exciting. It's like my favorite day of the month. Yeah, I know. So exciting. And if you guys can't see us on Radio World, which you probably cannot, you got to see us on YouTube. I'm loving Nadine's hair. And Nadine, I'm sorry, before we even got live, you were telling Benny and myself the weather. No. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> it's so cold here. <laughs> 50 below. Well, today's only in Fahrenheit, it's minus 28 Fahrenheit. Minus 28. Oh, it's only minus 28. No, no, that's stay in the house, not going outside. It makes me think of Carmel and all the farm and the animals and oh. Yeah, you still got to do your chores, but all, gotta... our, all the horses have lots of fur right now their hair is really long and puffy they're pretty cute they are they are it's so fun to see i you know snoop around and watch the social media so we're taking yeah. calls 1-888-298-5569 locally i know it went really fast but pay attention 1-888-298-5569 and then locally 425-373-5527 it's the holiday. Anything popping for you, Mama Sita? How me? <laughs> this is a busy time. I cannot go Christmas shopping because there's way too many spirits around. Yes. Everybody's poking at me to talk to people in the stores. So guess who's doing online shopping? <laughs> It's too cold anyways. You know what? I had that experience the other day because you taught me that lesson. You know what, babe, you got to go find your human talking to spirit, right? Go find your human. Then we can have that conversation because they were just coming at me and I just didn't. I'm like, wait a minute. What's happened? You're like, no, sis, just say, go get your human. Put up that boundary. And I was talking to a gentleman on, it was an older gentleman on a trail. I was walking with Levi and literally she was standing right next to me, wanting me to have a conversation with this older guy. And I'm like, mm, I, he didn't know me from Adam, right? We go into this conversation, <laughs> Nadine shaking her head and nodding. And because they don't, I'm like, do I? Sometimes I do. I say, hey, listen, yeah, 
I'm able to cross over and tap in. And if that's something I've got a message for you, yada, yada, yada. But I was just like, mm, yeah, not in the middle of the woods and nah. I, I find that more often than not, people appreciate it. It's yeah. what I found, right? And especially you have to ask permission, of course, but most people appreciate it then don't. But for me, it's a, you know, they know, spirit knows us. Pick your time and place. Why you got to be pushy? But it's because, you know, we're just tuned into that anyways. So even if it's spirit, just thinking about that person, we'll pick it up. Oh, right? Or, or see them with them. Um, but not everything's necessarily for reading. So, but it is good when they are persistent. That's when you're like, you know what? Find me if you have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know where I live. <laughs> In a really, really cold place. In a really, really, really cold, really cold place. You know, what, you know what we always say here? What? Why do I live where the air hurts my face? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Isn't that funny? No, that's awful. I mean, it's funny, but it's awful. But it's true. You walk outside and it's so cold. Now you're in Alberta or north of that. Where are you? I'm in Saskatchewan. So okay. I am east of Alberta. Okay. Yeah. So, so where Carmel's and everything is, I've been out there. So you're the yeah. other way. I'm set. I'm central. Like I think I'm, we're above Montana. Oh, cool. Like straight up. Mm -hmm. When can I come to Canada? I miss being able to go. It's been years. It's just because I would drive over there all the time or fly in. And... Well, you can't drive through BC because it's flooded. Oh, the landscape over there. I saw that. Our beautiful yeah. BC. It'll be okay. It's going to be okay. Sending tons of light and love over there. That's for sure. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Talk about sending lots of light and love. Uh, let's do that to all of you that are listening. It's the holidays. The holidays comes with a whole bag of triggers and emotions, good, bad, or indifferent. They're going to be there. And Nadine, I just want to give you a little extra love bump and uh, have the CCs season life, have compassion and get really curious and it'll help take the sting out of said conversation, said trigger, just, or, you know what, just get up and say, you know what, I need a timeout and walk out of the room. <laughs> Sometimes I'd rather deal with the dead than the life. <laughs> oh, you and me both, you and me both, my goodness, lots of lessons. Has anything been coming up for you with clients or? Well, I'm still in the teaching mode. So just that's teaching. right. Um, but one thing I was going to say about the show is if anyone out there is practicing the healing arts or, or psychic or mediumship, I love, like, we love taking questions. Like I love teaching, um, you know, this is a good time when you have one-on-one -on -one with people who do it for a oh, living. Yeah. So, so it's a really good time to just, not only if you want a reading, but you can just call in and pick our brains. Yes, yeah, well, we love talking about this conversation. 1 888 298 5569 or 425 373 5527. And uh, it is the first Tuesday of every month. And Nadine and I are bringing this message, this blessing, this healing to you, whatever or however that's going to show up. And yes, we love having the conversation. And I mean, if you want to listen to us conversate, that's fine too. But we also like you to call in and engage yeah. with us. Because readings are fun. We love yeah. doing readings. They're fun. Um, before I forget, I get thoughts in my head and then I lose them because I'm oh. ADHD. <laughs> but one thing I was going to say um, about, you know, how, when we're doing these Christmas parties and having uh, people over and stuff, the best way to bring your uh, family members in that have crossed over is... Number one, talk about them lots. That always draws them closer. Putting up pictures of them, like like for us, um, any event we have, we like to have like a setting for them or um, a photo of them in the room, just to to just to like invite them in. Tap and in, you, yeah. And the, like you said, this time is like the veil because we're thinking of our loved ones so much. It thins the veil. The en we have so much energy towards them right now that it's easier for them to come across. So trust that they're there. Trust those feelings. Um, if you're thinking about them and uh, right, they're there, they're there. 
So yeah, just you're... trust that they're there. I was just having this conversation with a colleague yesterday and <clears throat> explaining the analogy, and you've heard me use this before, the analogy of how close spirit is to us. I mean, and yeah. I use the kind of sheer shower curtain because the veil is right there. It's just yeah a frequency that you tap into. Everybody has the ability. It's whether you choose to or not is the question. And trust too. Ah, oh, permission and trust. Yeah. Trust. So say, for example, you're thinking about a loved one, your dad, and all of a sudden, and you're having that thought and a song comes on and it just busts your heart wide open. Guess what? That is a message from dad. Oh. saying, I love you. I'm here. Let's jam to the song or something. <laughs> and, and sometimes it meant like, sometimes they have to slap you in the face with their messages and other times they're very subtle, right? Like it's very yeah. subtle messages, but most of the time they're like, and then you go, Oh, that reminds me of my dad. Boom. That's because it's supposed to. <laughs> it is. Or maybe there was a smile in some, in a complete stranger. And you're like, Oh, that reminded me of my sister or you know, X, Y, Z, that's a message, honor it, trust, go back to the trust conversation for sure. And one of the best things that Carmel ever taught me about giving readings is that as soon as I start a reading, so this is for, you know, people who are doing this, as soon as you start that reading, everything you hear, see, smell, feel is now a message. So if you're trying to build your trust and really learn how to trust yourself, as soon as you're in that reading mode or that meditation to connect, I need people to, you got to trust every little thought, even if it seems ridiculous, every feeling in your body, it's all about awareness, right? Being in the moment because they will use every part of you uh, in order to connect. So like this morning when I'm getting ready, my tattoo is showing, right? And I thought, so I looked at it and I thought tattoos and I thought, oh, I bet we're going to have a show that, you know, <laughs> incorporate some tattoos. Right. right. But be, my tattoo is for my dad and my, and my husband. Mm. And so as soon as, you know, and nothing, everything happens for a reason. So as soon as I saw it, I thought they're here with me and there might be tattoo, you know, I'm trying to put the puzzle together. Okay. So they're here with me and maybe there's going to be memory tattoos that come through today in the show. Maybe who knows, right? At least it puts it in my mind and I trust. Yes. Yeah. That and I love this conversation about trust because it's like, and, and I'm going to, I, I, I also have a conversation with spirit and say, Hey, I, if I'm doing an evidential mediumship, if I'm doing a read, I'm like, you've got to give me so much validation that I don't, I know for certain, I'm yeah. not pulling it out of the dark area, <laughs> not, not the spirit world, but, <laughs> but seriously, give me so much validation, give me a name. And there's been so many times that they've given me a name and I'm like, Whoa, thank you. It's been, amazing. I know you're so good like that. I love that. Uh, I love, <laughs> it, I well, love and, it. and the thing is, is that, um, yeah, because we need to trust ourselves. We need the validation for ourselves. <laughs> totally. Like, yeah. 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 It's for the client for sure. You need that for the client, but we also need it for ourselves because it's how we know we're connecting. Yep. Yeah. Right. If things aren't hitting, it means we have to raise our vibration. We might have to slow down and really, you know, slow down the reading and really listen and feel. Um, so it's also good for us. We need that validation just as much. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I like I get in, I get into well, the CCs, I get into that playful mode. You know, I get playful with them. I'm like, you got to show me. And this was yesterday. They were showing me um, I was with a friend and they were showing me. I'm like this again, trusting because it doesn't make sense to me. And you and I have had this conversation before. It doesn't make sense to me, but I'm going to say it anyways. Lizards like iguanas. Why is this coming up? And he's like, mm, I don't know. So somewhere, somehow. And then it came out. Dad said, look for the lizards. Anyways, I, who knows? Who knows where and when it will show up, but it will. We're just the messengers. We're just the conduit, just the messengers. Yes. So however that shows up in their life. And sometimes, you know, I've had readings from other mediums and, you know, I trust what they're saying and I, whatever, and just go about my business. And some of the things don't come up for a year later. And then I'll yes. say, 
And then it'll flash before my eyes. Oh my goodness. She said that would happen. And then it does. Right. So you never know time. They don't care about time over there. There is no time. There's no time. Yeah. They're just time like, yes, happen. it's going to happen. And I had one, I had a friend who literally called me and said, Sue, and this was like a year and a half later, what you said, my mom. So it was grandma about the daughter and some schooling and stuff. And it's, it's coming true. It came true. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's a year and a half later, two years there or something. But yeah, but I loved that the human called me and said, it oh, came, I know. you know, that is so, so nice. nice. Yeah, I know. That's so nice. I, know. I know. And sometimes people are like, remember when you said and did it, and I'm like, Nope. Like, cause a lot of times I don't, cause I'm channeling, right. Yeah. I'm channeling. So lots of times I'm just, I'm the voice of that person, but it doesn't necessarily, I, I, sometimes I don't remember the details cause I'm so focused in the connection. Um, but I love it. Like, I mean, I love the feedback of course, yeah. but I, but I also trust that everything I said is going to come true. I trust it. Yeah, totally. And it's, or I went to got it. Yeah. Why? Yeah, exactly. It's so but, trusting. But still, they have to take from it what they want, right? Like if there's, when I, whenever, if I've gotten a read, even when I read my own cards, if there's something I don't like about my cards. Yeah. I pull <laughs> another one. Right. <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes I choose not to trust. <laughs> yes. And then when, and there's, there's a whole disclaimer bubble in that because there's, <laughs> we're going to learn either, either way. When we don't listen and when we do listen yeah. and us as humans, we think that it's got to be this contraction, just it's got to be hard. And if I, the harder I work, the harder I fight, the better it's going to be. But in reality, that's not it. Catch yourself, be in that state of awareness that, you know what, it's, it's supposed to be in grace and ease. It's yeah, supposed absolutely. to be easy. Yeah. Um, can we do a question from my Facebook? Yes. Okay, because I found this one really interesting. Um, this comes from Karen, and she's in Alberta. And she says, is it crazy that I can talk to plants? And no, hear and hear not them? at all. I love that. They have just as much energy. Ah, Right? I just had Groog. I am Groog. I am Groot. And I thought that'd be a really good question for you because I know you spend a ton of time in nature. Oh, the rocks, yeah. everything. I mean, if you, the crystals, we know this nature, land, trees, I, I smell them. I hear them. I sense them. It's very tactile for me. I love being out there and, and you can hear them and you, there's some are wise, some are young some, you know, it's just, it's beautiful. Yes. Please. And, because, oh, and because they are energy, right? Oh. They're everything. All it is, is tuning into the frequency of the, of the plants, of the animals, of the humans. You're just yeah. tuning into that frequency. And I always say like my favorite thing in the world to do is I'm a tree hugger. <laughs> <laughs> I just am. I just love trees. And I just, there's nothing to me that grounds me faster than hugging a tree. Oh, totally. Completely oh, exactly. getting out in nature and smelling the bark and the earth. And yeah. And when I, I go to new places, I grab earth. I grab the earth or the bushes and I smell it to ground in and oh, so juicy. Nature is such a cure. But yeah, that's a really good question because don't feel like you're crazy if you think the plant just talked to you. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It did. <laughs> Well, anyone who loves plants would know this because oh, totally. you know, people talk to their plants all the time, right? They say, well, you know, that experiment they do where they had the two plants, right? So it's not uh -huh. only how the plant talks to you, it's how you talk to the plant. So that there's that exchange of energy. So if I'm talking lovingly to my plant and it affects it, obviously to, they talk back to us, yes. right? And my name will say, please water me. I'm dying. <laughs> Or you, or you wanted me to <laughs> I can't have plants. Me and plant. I can have trees or you know or fruit things, but me and like a plant, I don't know what it is. I don't have that green thumb. My green thumb is leaving all of those beautiful plants out in Mother Earth to yeah. blossom and flourish. <laughs> yes. 
but you know, I, you know, it makes sense how they say like the wise old tree or the wise old, oh. oak. like in Polka Haunted, how she has the mother oh. tree that, that she talks to, but those are, that's Avatar, why. Avatar. Yeah. All of it. Everybody has been connecting since the beginning of your rocks can talk to you. That's why people read read rocks or read stones or even tea leaves again that's a plant that will talk to you so there's lots of different ways that that nature talks to you and even when you're in that nature and you're zenned out like because it's so peaceful and beautiful in nature so you really are connecting to yourself your soul your guides your angels everybody can come through in that because you're just you're so tranquil in that peace in nature mm. get outside yeah <laughs> Just not 25 Just not below. Me. Just not me. Because I will freeze to death. Yes, your eyelashes will freeze. No, I don't want to do that either. Yeah. In Bend, it's sunny and beautiful. It's cold though. It's 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 snowing up in the mountains, which we need it, but it's so beautiful. I'm looking to see what the degrees is here in Bend. Well, it's 37 degrees right now. So it's warm compared to you. <laughs> Um, Sue, it's funny we're talking here, but horses keep coming through really strong for me, horses. And it's about the meaning of the horse. Do you have, do you have, um, cards like animal cards there? Yes. Today? Is there a horse in there? <laughs> I didn't pull an animal card today, but I certainly oh, will do it right maybe now. Maybe it just means that. Let's see what. Oh, seahorse. Watch and wait. <laughs> a seahorse. Not any of the other ones. Oh, my God. It just clicked in. Oh, my God. That's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> that, I didn't even get it at first. I was like, oh. <laughs> I love us. I love us. Busy. But I see horse and you think horse running, running horse right, right. and the seahorse. What does it mean? <laughs> it means watch and wait. So collect more information on said situation. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Is there a situation that you know people to... how thick that deck is? What are the odds? Look at that. Seahorse. <laughs> This is a perfect example, though, how spirit will give you, show you one vision, but you have to, uh, it's a clue. It's not always exactly a horse. I might see a horse running through a pasture because that's how I connect to horses. Right. Sue's, Sue's by the ocean, so maybe it comes across as a seahorse for her, but the symbolism is still the same. So even though I see a horse and someone says, no, that doesn't connect, maybe now I have to say things like, what about a seahorse? Because, you know, I never even think to, about a seahorse because I don't oh. live by the sea. But that's a really good lesson for me just now. And a great, aha, uh -huh. I'm looking it up. Keep talking, babe. <laughs> but, but what it comes down to is when we get signs and symbols, it's not always a direct, sometimes it's direct, but it's charades. not always direct. Yeah, sometimes that's, why it's charades. I, that's why when I'm giving a reading, I will sometimes pick a symbol apart so that it can tune in for the person because it's just as much a puzzle for us as it is the person sitting across from us. And sometimes spirit, when the frequency is really, really strong, uh, they can, they can send us direct messages. And sometimes with the, you know, cause sometimes people don't understand what the frequencies is it can go in and out during a reading. It can go be really strong and it can go down because we're trying to match our energies. They're right. probably better at matching energies than I am because I'm a human. So I have to really bring up my energy, but like, let's say it's a spirit that doesn't quite know how to bring their energy down to meet me. It's a lot harder to, to, to get that frequency together. And then sometimes I get a spirit who's so strong that I just have can sit back and relax. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know? in this, that was another thing that you taught me to love was if you're an extrovert as a human. Yes you're going to be an extrovert as that spirit, meaning the conversations you're, you, it'll be easier for our frequencies yeah. to tap in and engage. So let me read to you what the seahorse spirit, <clears throat> it says hovering gracefully, the seahorse observes with the perspective of one who is not engulfed by the drama. How perfect is this 
with the whole holidays and everything that we were just talking about at the top of the hour, right? So don't be engulfed by all the drama, remaining at a distance from all turbulence. Seahorse spirit appears at this time to remind you the need to be neutral and gain perspective. So if you're hearing this for the first time, maybe it's not about family. Maybe you have a business opportunity or a contract or something that's been noodling. Take a minute, get some more information. Don't jump into it. Look at the perspective. Don't get spun up in the drama or the sparkly things. Spirit wants you to know that even if you're tempted to jump into the fray to try and fix things, the best way to serve yourself and others right now is to remain calm and simply watch and see. Be the observer. I am me. I needed that message because I'm a fixer. Yeah. 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 I'm a fixer and I get in trouble for my like sometimes my sister, like people say, you don't have to fix it. I'm just venting. Oh, like, yes. Yes. And I'm automatically want to fix everybody and everything because I, 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 I feel like I can't, oh, well, if you just do this and this, right. I'm so used to giving readings and advice and counseling or whatever. Okay. So that's not only was that for you, you ready for this? Cause this is the card that I pulled pre. So I think oh. this is all for you, baby. Dear you, it. do you feel like that you need to do all the work and fix everything for everyone? Or you might have not any value. <laughs> I swear to God, this is the card that I pulled. And then you're talking about the seahorse. Okay, here we go. Maybe you think you need to control everything or else nothing will get done, be healed, be completed, etc. You may think you need to confirm to what or to conform to what others expect of you or choose a course of action to manipulate an outcome but will not think that would be, they don't think that would be a good choice at this point. How about this? So this could be a tool or a change in, and after we do this, we'll jump on a commercial break. Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, change always makes one uncomfortable, do something different. Set that boundary. Look at them. <laughs> I love you, Nate, but look at this. Delegate responsibility to another. Ask your needs to be met. And when faced with an impossible situation or sticky, enmeshed relationship, repeat this mantra. I didn't cause it. I can't control it. And it's not my job to cure it. Boom. That makes a lot of sense. I me. think this was all for you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> not just me not just me <laughs> all right with that we're going to take a quick commercial break nadine and i are going to continue goofing off and loving on you on youtube all you got to do is go to youtube and type in eleven fifty a.m so we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll come back thanks benny all right all clear can you believe that Every time we do this, I'm in shock. That's I, a <laughs> And I love pulling the cards pre. So there's that spin yeah. of validation, you know, it's the same. There's thing. always, a, it's it almost like it sets the theme or you know what the theme's going to be. Like it's wild. And then out of this whole deck, come on. The seahorse. <laughs> I know, but talk about validation. I know. We're just... <laughs> Do you have an animal deck? Maybe you should bang. Bam. What? what? <laughs> and then the card that I pulled prior to boundaries and not being the fixer and the seahorse. And, and I just said that. Right what, baby? That's all for you. <laughs> I just, and I would just said that to you how I always feel like I got to fix everything. <laughs> and then you're like, whoa, hold on. Well, and here, you know what we were saying, like with the, with the holidays and stuff, someone like me, who's like a mediator all the time, it's hard because, you know, this person's fighting with that person, or maybe this person doesn't want to come because they don't get along with that person. And I'm always trying to like smooth everything over for everyone. So they all get along, but maybe, and that's not my job. No, right. Like if, 
if you don't want to come, don't come or like, don't, that's don't on involve. you. Don't get me wrapped up in the drama. No yes. Fixing. No yes. fixing. Yeah. But guess yes. what? The drama always comes to the fixer. <laughs> well then stay out of it. If yes. you're out of it, then you won't get it. No and then no. what does that, that card said about expectations, right? When you, when people have expectations of you oh. and then you put up that boundary, like it's amazing. Like when you put up a boundary, you see, so when, if you want to know somebody really well, put up a boundary, yes. you'll find out exactly who that person is. Like if you put, I talk about this all the time. If you put up a boundary with me, I would never cross that boundary ever again. You tell me once. It's done. Like the boundaries up. I will never cross that boundary where there's other people, no matter how many boundaries you put up, no matter how you state it, or they want to push that boundary, push that boundary, push that boundary. And I think, what is it about them that thinks that's okay? Yeah. To do it to me, right? Like, what is it? Or why do people not adhere to boundaries? What is it about them? Maybe you can answer that. What is it about people who don't listen to other people's boundaries who are they why do they do these things <laughs> really good question let's answer it because i'm coming back from commercial yes because i don't know you're good like that <laughs> you taught me boundaries sue you did i'm get. i'm really good at them now i'm just saying good are we live benny no not yet i'm waiting for oh, you okay Oh God, I love that song. Oh, I love that song. All right, during the commercial break, uh, we were on YouTube when we were talking about the irony and the validation. You know, I pull cards prior to just to see where the theme may pop up if it does. And lo and behold, Nadine says, well, wait a minute, there's horses or horses or something's going on. Do you have an animal deck handy? I'm like, well, yeah, just as a matter of fact, I do. Now, if you guys could see this on the YouTube, you see how thick this deck is. I would say that's probably two inches, don't you think? At yeah, least. oh yeah. So out of, the, out of this animal deck, the one that pops out is the seahorse. Crazy. And it's all about watching and waiting and boundaries we learn. <clears throat> and then there was the card that I pulled prior to the show. And again, it's all about, and Nadine was just saying that she has a tendency to be the fixer, the mediator, the all of that, right? And the cards are saying, you don't have to do that anymore. It's their responsibility. And then during the break, I'm going to swing this all back around. We were talking about boundaries and while there's people that will respect them, there's also people that will not. And there's also that tricky word expectation. You expect somebody to show up a certain way. And if you're in the dialogue or in, in, in the dance with like family members, and they're the ones that are not listening to the boundaries, you've got to, and, and it's then a lesson for you to say, all right, I've really got to stand up for myself because this old habituation, this old way of doing things isn't working. So you can have that conversation. You can just say exactly what I said. Hey, listen, I love you. This, this, this relationship is important enough for me to bring this up. You're crossing the boundary. This is the boundary I've asked you about multiple times. Yeah. Can we have that conversation Why you feel it's okay to keep crossing that boundary? Get curious, get compassionate, get curious, get compassionate. If in fact, the relationship's important to you. Right. If it's not deep and authentic and genuine for you, bless them and let them go. Let them go. Even if it's a family member, just because it's a mom or a dad or a sister or brother doesn't mean that that has to have a relationship, that expectation. I, I, yeah. I never even thought to ask people why they keep crossing boundaries. And maybe they're so spun out in their discomfort they don't even see it. And they also have certain expectations of me and uh, the habituation. Yeah. And that I will bow to the boundary again. Yep. Right. The, like they always say, you teach people how to treat, how to, to treat you. Right. And so yep. they know 
if I just keep pushing and pushing, she'll drop that boundary. Yeah. Like her boundaries mean nothing. It's just, just, she doesn't mean anything by them because I can push right through them. Yep. And she'll give in again and she'll give yep. in again. And so I'm teaching people that it's like, no. if they throw a temper, it's like a kid, if they throw a temper tantrum enough, mom will give me what I want. Right. So it's kind of, you know, yet, yeah, I got to get better. <laughs> <laughs> better than I've been but in yes. certain situations it's hard um another thing about the fixing being a fixer so I always want to fix everything and I'll jump right in I'll save you I'll do everything for you right and my daughter and my sister and my best friend have really taught me about not being a fixer so they'll say to me, if they want something fixed they'll let me fix it but lots of times they just want to vent and they don't need me to fix anything. So at the beginning of the conversation, they're so cute. They'll say, Nadine, I'm just venting. I don't need you to fix anything. Just listen. And then because I have that disclaimer, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> just loving, just being the observer. I know, yeah. I know. And that's important. And I'm glad they, but I love that they do that with me. They've set a boundary right out the gate. Yeah. And there's effective, kind, respectful communication going on. Absolutely. Who doesn't want that, right? Absolutely. I just love it. Yeah. Who doesn't? I love that these cards popped up for you, my dear. So I just saw airplanes. Airplane just flew by in my mind. Yeah. So do you have a trip plan? Yes. Where are you going? Somewhere hot and warm like Florida? Where Cabo, Cabo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't have my kids this this Christmas. Ugh, it hurts. Um, but I'm going to go to Cabo and drown my sorrows in the beach and the sandy hot Mexican sun and then I'll fly in through SeaTac. <laughs> I'm so jealous. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it's good. I mean, there's a big, there's a big heart pull for me. I, you know, the tradition of family and being around all that. I miss so it. Your dad just said, your dad just said, I'll be there with you. Oh, no problem. I'll be there with you. <laughs> That's what I heard really strong. Your dad come through. Oh, thank you. That's so God. cute. Yeah. Yeah. We just had another. Oh, I forgot about saying that. I am an, a great aunt again for the second time. Great. Am I? So it's my niece who just gave birth to her second daughter. And wow. Willow Grace. Congratulations. Oh. Isn't that a beautiful name? Willow Grace. Such wow. a beautiful. Well, my daughter's Liliana Grace. Oh, Willow Grace. Yes. I love that. Yeah. I just saw. I just saw footprints in the sand that, that isn't there a poem oh, or something called yep. footprints in the sand? Cause when I was talking to your dad, that's what he said to me about you being lonely and missing is footprints in the sand, but I don't know. Oh, cute. I know this is the card that kind of popped out after the seahorse. And now look at what you're talking about. You'll never be alone. That's the footprints in the sand. And that's what you were just saying, how you were feeling like you're going to be by like in the family and da, 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 da. I'm going to look up what that poem is though, because. Um, God grant me the serenity or some, is that that one or the footprints in the sand? I used to have that poem growing up. I don't, I don't have it anymore. What is it here? It's quite long. It is, but it's beautiful. Okay. Um, so it says footprints in the sand. One night I dreamed I was walking along the beach with the Lord or higher power. Many scenes from my life flashed across the sky. In each scene, I noticed footprints in the sand. Sometimes there were two sets of footprints. Other times was only one. This bothered me because I noticed that during the low periods of my life, when I was suffering from anguish, sorrow or defeat, I could see only one set of footprints. So I said to the Lord, you promised me, Lord, that if I followed you, you would walk with me always. But I have noticed that during the most trying periods of life, there has only been one set of footprints in the sand. Why, when I needed you the most, have you not been there for me? The Lord replied, 
The years when you have seen only one set of footprints, my child, is when I carried you. Mm. Such a, oh, I mean, I got goosebumps all over. Oh. And you can substitute Lord for higher power. Higher power, or, Gus, or your whatever dad. You want. Yes. Dad. Yes, totally. Thank however, you. However that resonates, um, it's such a beautiful message that even though we can't see spirit or see our loved ones, or, you know, it doesn't mean they're not there helping us and carrying us and working behind the scenes, even when we feel so alone. Yes. And, you know, and I think you and I've had this conversation. I love being alone, but I'm no, I'm not alone. <laughs> I have, I'm, I'm trusting and talking to the trees, to the animals, to Levi, to myself, to spirit. And just surrendering into that trust. I love it. I always say that. How can I ever be lonely when I'm surrounded? I'm surrounded by so many. My animals talk to me all day. People calling me all day. The trees can be talking to me. You know, I am so inundated with, with conversations. Look at all of that hair. Oh. Isn't she just a look? Oh, those cheeks. Cheeks. <laughs> Oh, what a time! Baby, what a time to be born! Her first Christmas, right out the gate, right? And her her grandpa's birthday is next week, I think. So just almost a a birthday. He got an early birthday present. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to all the first Christmas babies out there. This is so exciting. Do I dare say COVID babies? That sounds awful. But it's to, you know, what have you been doing for the last <laughs> COVID Trapped in a home? Story. Well, <laughs> well, they're born at they're born at the hardest time, but you oh. know, but de- but they're so blessed, right? Because maybe they wouldn't have been here without COVID. <laughs> I know. Everything has a message. Everything right. has a message. You're not but alone. I love, I love new beginnings and 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 to see the like. It's so exciting, baby's first Christmas. It's so exciting to have any kid's Christmas. I always say, you know, I didn't worry about Christmas until I had my daughter. And then all of a sudden, Christmas came to life again for me. So I got to experience that as a kid. And then I got to, you know, believe in Santa for her too. I know. I love this conversation because I I was watching a really beautiful um, updated movie the other night. And it's a it for me and the way I communicated to the kids, you know, especially with the conversation about Santa, I'm like, I absolutely believe in the spirit of Christmas every year. It's ah. the spirit. It's the love. It's the generosity. It's the abundance. It's all about that and the compassion and that spirit, that energy, take all of that with you guys. Absolutely. That's what I, it's about the spirit of it all, you know, it is the, um, the name Mary or Marie keeps coming through for me, Marie or Mary. Does that make sense to you at all? Is there someone Marie or Mary or a namesake in the family? Maybe Marie, it could be a middle name. Marie, Marie, it's like, it's like M-A-R, like Mary or Marie. Or it could just be a message for somebody out there with this, with the name Mary or Marie or both Mary and Marie. Um, It's a message of, it's a message of uh, believing in yourself, believing in the magic of life and believing in the magic of the season. So um, if your name is Mary or Marie, this message is for you and anyone else who wants to take it, but specifically, <laughs> specifically for Mary and Marie, because um, for some reason, that's what's coming to me. So it's about believing in yourself and believing in magic. And when I say magic, that means beauty, energy, love, yes. uh, love whatever magic means to you, I th- you know, things lining up. So there's, there's a, you have, sorry, they talk to me at the same time. Um, believe in, yeah, believe in miracles, believe in magic, uh, believe that, it, that good is happening and good is coming and you deserve it. 
Mm. Deserve it. Be a receiver. Yes. A lot of that. Yes. A lot of conversations about the big permission slip. Just receive. It's okay. No shame, no guilt. Don't block it. Don't do any of that. Just receive it. Receive and that's it. a big message for Christmas. See, I love giving presents, <laughs> but I have a hard time receiving. Like, I love it. I've gotten better at it. Like, I've got, I'm very thankful, right? It's not that I'm not thankful, but I just feel like I don't need it or something. Like, because I don't, I just need you and turkey. Just kidding. <laughs> And lots of potatoes and gravy. Yeah. See, my family's really good because, you know, growing up, we only ever had like one or two presents. It wasn't a big, you know, we didn't have a ton of money or whatever. So we just had little, and I think Christmases were smaller back then. Like kids didn't expect a whole bunch. And I think it's just gotten so out of control, but my family's really good. We just, we're all about getting together or or not, <laughs> but if we don't put too much pressure on ourselves for Christmas. It's just too much stuff. Right. I, start to I start to panic. My daughter's an only child. So by the time she gets grandma and grandpa on both sides and aunties and uncles and everyone <laughs> buying for her, I can only ever get her one thing because she's already getting 10 things. <laughs> and right now I'm decluttering and I do it every, every December at this time, I start getting rid of stuff because I'm like, I'm going to panic if any more comes in. Oh, completely. I am so with you on that. I've been walking into my closet going, Oh my God. Ugh. Christmas purge, you guys. Christmas purge. purge. Yes. Get rid of the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Um, another thing I was going to say, I know I work for, I volunteer for the food bank here all the time. And I also volunteer for their uh, empty stockings, which gives uh, food and presents to, oh, yeah. you know, families in need. So give that gift to people. Like it doesn't always have to be materialistic, like, you know, make a donation in somebody's name, you know, volunteer, do things like that. Because with COVID, we oh. need it more than ever. Like, I don't know about where you guys are, but up here we are in a food shortage and, um, more and more people without work and stuff like so it's pretty desperate this Christmas compared to most um so yeah if you if you were really thinking what should I do for someone this Christmas or or give a gift in someone's name or donation in someone's name I mean we have so much stuff people <laughs> <laughs> we are so consumers. much stuff I hear you I hear you so much stuff. I have, I have a tap in question for you. I'm going to say one word and you, you feel into it and say, if it's for you, it's, it's an opportunity for me. And, um, I'm wondering if you feel, or if you tap into spirit that you feel that spirits behind me. Yes. I heard yes. Before you even, Oh, as soon as you started talking, I heard a great big yes. Okay. okay. Why six? That's, all I'm going to give you a Y6. Y six. Yeah. It's yeah. Y six. I'll talk to you offline about it. Okay. I just hear yes. Okay. Before I even said it. So that's what I have been hearing and I'm hearing it'll all come together in January. And it's nice. nice. Yeah. Everything yes. will come together in January. I'm just kind magic. Of, yeah. And again, it's me sitting back in the now do you see what's above your head <laughs> you just lean back for the first time <laughs> you are magic oh my god this is all we talked about true love and trust and magic and it i you and i are just reading each other today <laughs> are but it's a good message for anybody who's listening and a reminder, boundaries, boundaries with human and boundaries with spirit world. That's always, yeah, totally, totally. I, I can't even believe you leaned back and I saw that. Twink. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. I love it so much. And, and 
that's because we trust everything that we see. Yes, songs, everything. Yeah. From birds to chirping to songs to heart rocks to trusting the plants are talking to you trusting that the animals are talking to you trusting that spirits talking to you those sign symbols as always have you ever seen when they put a microphone up to like a dandelion yes <gasps> so cool so cool i can't believe how much plants sing and stuff it's crazy but you know lots of people who like talk about near-death experiences and stuff this is what i always tell people if you want to learn about the other side read and read and read about near-death experiences because one thing they always say is how musical heaven is mm. and they can't even describe the music because it's so beautiful the color there's not there's no words on earth that can describe how beautiful it is on the other side right but they always talk about music, music. But look what music can do but look what music can do like music can take you back to yeah. when you're 14 or 15 or a child or music is like a time warp talk about going back in time or yes. time travel you know yes. nothing makes you travel through time faster than music yes. right and think good yeah. or bad oh yeah there's some songs so, i don't want to hear <laughs> yeah so and i that was coming up for me because there's there have been traumas and mourning aspects and this is this is important and during that time frame, a song would come up and now all of a sudden I'm driving in the car and I'm getting this residual feeling of a past trauma. So what I say to all of you, if this resonates, bring that up and release it and let it go. Fill it full of love. Just there's no reason for you to be holding on to that bag. Whatever that bag looks like, define it however you want. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Let it go. I feel like I have to say, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> It's like that Frozen song. Let it go. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's coming back to winter over here. <laughs> it is. Man. Burr, babe. No, honey. Stay no. warm. <laughs> you know, we have to like run our vehicles for an hour before we can get in them. What? At least half an hour. Like we'll, we'll run our vehicle for half an hour and it'll still be cold when we get in it. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> See, I miss the West Coast. <laughs> I miss Vancouver. Yes. You can always so much that. closer to you then. Yes. Yes. Well, we've got a couple more minutes, guys. We and we, Nadine and I will not be together until January 2022. It's gonna be an amazing year. Oh my goodness. Happy New Year to everybody. I Merry know. Christmas. Oh, happy holidays. Merry happy Christmas. holidays. Whatever that is to you. Listen to the messages. See them, hear them, smell them, sense them, talk about them, bring them into the conversation. They are they, meaning spirit, is right there with you, loving on you. As always, always love, always love and light, always white light. Um, believe in magic. Believe in magic, compassionate curiosity. You don't have to be the doer of all things. No. Boundaries. <laughs> don't, you don't need to fix it. No fixing, baby. You got the seahorse and the otter spirit at your back helping you along. All right, with that, Benny, and to all the KKW family, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Well, Benny, I'll obviously see you in a, next week, but for you, Miss Nadine in Canada and all across the world, love you, darling, and we'll see you January of 2022. And with that, I'll see the rest of you guys next week. And until then, each of you are a gift. Get out there and share yourself with the world. <laughs>